Hey everybody, Michael here, and today we're coming to you from the headquarters of Permajet Professional Inkjet Media in Stratford-upon-Avon. Some of you will know that that's historic Shakespeare country. Now, what some of you might not know is that Permajet, apart from supplying you know, my favorite range of paper, they are also Canon specialists. This gives me an opportunity to get a selection of Canon's best desktop photo printers all in one room so that we can do a comparison, see them side by side and have a quick chat about them. So what we have here behind me is we've got the PIXMA IP8750, the PIXMA Pro 100S, the PIXMA Pro 10S, and the Image ProGraph Pro 1000. Okay, so from left to right, these three are A3 Plus printers, and this one is an A2 printer, and let's have a quick chat and we'll talk through them one by one. Okay, so let's talk about this one first. This is the PIXMA IP8750 printer. It is an A3 Plus printer, and it has got six dye-based inks, okay? Now, it prints on a variety of media. It'll print really good color prints. It will print monochrome prints, and it'll, it will print on both gloss media and matte or fine art media, okay? So the reason we included this one, it doesn't really fit with, with the others. It's in a slightly different range from the Pro range, but the reason we included this one is because it does print on the fine art media, so it is a good option for some people, and we'll get into you know, the specific decision-making factors in a second, but it is a good option for some people who want to get into you know, proper, high-quality photographic printing. Now, it does have, as I mentioned, six ink cartridges, okay? Now, one of the things that separates this printer from, say, some of the larger printers is the capacity of the cartridges. This um, it takes six cartridges of 11 millimeters capacity each, which isn't a huge amount. So that immediately singles it out as a printer for somebody who maybe, you know, doesn't print huge volumes, maybe likes to print regularly. If you want to have a printer at home, it's a really, really good option for that where you can print your family photos or if you need to do quick proofing if you're a more serious printer but you want to print some proofs at home it's a really good option for that it's got a really small footprint as you can see it's not the biggest desktop printer in the world especially considering it will print at a3 plus which is an impressive size so you know there are some pros and cons to this but if you are printing a lot of prints if you are a high volume printer then you'll probably find you'll get more value from the larger cartridges in some of the other printers, okay? It's also quite good at printing really good color images, like I said, but for monochrome, even though it does do monochrome prints, if you're a serious, serious monochrome printer, maybe you print for exhibition or competition or anything, you know, along those lines, you might be better off with one of the other printers. But again, this is a really simple, really effective and high quality printer um, and a fantastic home option. Moving up the lane to a more serious printer or a more professional printer, if you want to use those terms, um, the, the first printer in the Pro range we come to is the Pro 100S, okay? The PIXMA Pro 100S. I'll tell you a little story about this printer, okay? The older version of this printer, the Pro 100, is a printer that I tested six, seven years ago. Um, it could be more. <laughs> At my age, the days are all merging into one. But I had the opportunity to test a PIXMA Pro 100 when I was doing a print workshop. I was completely blown away and I was using what was considered to be a high-end printer from another manufacturer at the time. And the PIXMA Pro 100 is the reason I fell in love with Canon printers. I then took a look at the other printers in the range and investigated what would work best for me. and. You know, I now have, we, we have three different Canon printers that we use in the studio and in the home office. And I could not be happier. The quality is incredible. And I was blown away by what was the entry level into the PIXMA Pro range. So this is the PIXMA Pro 100S. 
it's an upgraded version of the old Pro 100. We won't get into too much detail about specific upgrades, etc. Suffice to say, it's a fantastic printer, okay? The image quality, the resolution, the sharpness, the clarity of detail, the tonality and color gradation and color transition is unbelievable on this printer, as it is on all of the, the Pixma Pro range of printers. One of the things that actually sold me on the Pixma Pro range in the first place was how it handled color transitions. The, you know, how clear and smooth the transition of different colors, you know, was on any print that I made, while still maintaining incredible detail and sharpness. It just completely blew me away. And still to this day, I absolutely love the experience of printing on these printers, okay? Now, the Pro 100 has eight ink cartridges, and they are 14 mil each, okay, 14 milliliters, which is a little more than the um, 11 milliliters that comes with the uh, Pixma IP8750, for example. Now, this one is a little bigger than the Pixma IP8750, as you can see, it's got a larger footprint, um, so you, you need to factor that in, you need a little bit more desk real estate to be able to accommodate this printer, but it's by no means huge. It's what you'd expect for an A3 Plus sized printer. Um, you know, in fact, the 8750 is actually unusually small for an A3 Plus um, printer, to be fair. So, this is a bigger printer. It's a lot more sturdy, a lot more robust, but it's also got eight ink cartridges, okay? They're di it's dye-based ink, They're, th these cartridges are, they contain the Chroma Life dye-based ink formulation, which gives incredible saturation, richness of color, and you know, like I said, the way the Canon printing system works, just you really, really get the best out of any color in your, in your photos with any of these printers. Because this is dye-based ink, um, traditionally dye-based ink would have a lot more saturation. It's easier to get saturated prints than with pigment ink. Now, the gap on that has closed a lot, so I wouldn't say that's much of you know, a huge issue or a difference anymore, but traditionally, that would still be the perception. But the other big difference between, say, dye-based ink like this and pigment ink is that traditionally pigment ink lasted and still does last a lot longer. Now, in testing, the Chroma Life inks have, you know, a huge lifespan, okay? I don't want to quote numbers here because with the, the testing, um, the accelerated testing that they use to test the longevity of the inks, the actual, the estimates change pretty much all the time. And it is all dependent on the conditions in which you display the print, etc. But suffice to say, this will produce prints that will outlast me or anybody I give the prints to. So I don't really have a concern and I wouldn't have a concern with the longevity of prints made with this ink on really good um, archival paper, like you know any of the high-end Permajet range. So who is this for? I would have no problem whatsoever. I wouldn't hesitate giving somebody a print from this, you know? Or if I was printing for competition or for exhibition and, you know, any of these are the uses where you need an amazing print, but maybe, you know, it's not going to be displayed in a window for 20 years. I would have no hesitation whatsoever about using this. In fact, with the, the quoted longevity of these inks, I'd have no problem even supplying these images to a client um, or, you know, making prints of family or anything valuable that I would like to last. It really, really, really is a phenomenal printer. So if you want to get into serious printing, into high quality fine art printing, this is a really, really good option, a really good entry. So yeah, it's an amazing printer. One other point I just want to mention about the Pro 100S, and that is the fact that the quality of monochrome prints is phenomenal. 
okay so if you are a serious monochrome printer as i mentioned when we were talking about the ip8750 if you are a serious monochrome photographer and you like to you know you really like your black and white you want rich blacks very neutral tones rich grays um then you really you know you will see a massive massive step up in the pro 100s over a printer like the ip8750 so that's another thing if you are a monochrome fine art photographer then you really want to be looking at the pixma pro range okay so now we move on to the pixma pro 10s okay one of the big differences between the pixma pro 10s and the pro 100s is the fact that the pixma pro 10s uses pigment based inks okay now i mentioned earlier that dye based inks don't have the short lifespan that they used to have and that is true that is totally correct but pigment inks are still more archival okay they still will outlast dye based inks and you know they'll retain their quality and true color for much 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 longer because of the the, the pigment um coloring in the ink okay now the other benefit to that is if you are a a fine art photographer who sells you know prints and if you're a fine art photographer and you print a lot of images for exhibition and you want the finest quality prints available and you want to be able to also give it that prestige of being able to say this is an archival gicle high quality archival print um, which you may want to do for limited editions or for special works or even for if you like to, to give all of your work that stamp of you know high-end esteem and prestige then pigment ink makes all the difference it still has that air of you know being more archival it is but at the same time it gives it that seal of of archival quality you know that badge of authenticity to fine art work so if, if you're printing works for those kind of purposes then this is a no-brainer this is a phenomenal printer it's an amazing printer the pro 100s is another amazing printer but this one has the pigment ink which for those archival high-end fine art uh, purposes can make all the difference especially to your branding and you know you wouldn't hesitate if you print you know, using these inks in this printer on any of the high-end Permajet papers, the fine art papers, you wouldn't hesitate in being able to stand behind them as a really, really high quality archival gicle print. Now we move on to the Image Prograph Pro 1000 printer. Okay, this is the top of the range of the Canon professional desktop printers. Um, it kind of sits at the top of the desktop printers, but it's also, you know, it, it overlaps into the large format printers. As you can see, this is a much larger machine. Um, it's the definitely the, the biggest of the printers we have to show here today but the reason this is a bigger printer is because this prints larger format this prints up to a2 up to 17 inches wide um, there's nothing like seeing large prints if your images are of good quality and you know if they're technically good and they've got you know lots of rich detail and color then there's nothing better than seeing them in a large print and the impact from a large print like an a2 print over an A3 plus if the if the image is, is good the impact difference is huge okay so if you're the kind of person who wants to print your images big that's an immediate bonus right there I mean it, it prints bigger so this printer takes 12 ink cartridges okay 11 of which are color and one is the chroma optimizer and um, just like in the the chroma optimizer in the pro 10 the Chroma Optimizer works to, you know, give a really smooth surface when you're printing with the pigment inks on a gloss or satin paper. 
um, it makes a massive difference and the prints have a really really nice smooth quality over areas of different levels of ink or clear white paper next to it, printed colors or printed ink etc so it is a really really cool feature and a nice feature to have and it really makes all the difference with raising you know the traditional look of pigment inks up to a really really slick classy smooth look and feel for when you're printing on gloss or satin semi-gloss media because they're pigment inks they're obviously again going to be you know give you um, the most archival of prints okay if you print this on very archival paper high quality long lasting paper you will have no problem whatsoever being able to stand over the longevity of them the other benefit of using a larger printer is that a printer like this has larger ink cartridges so even if you're only printing a3 plus there's still an advantage to printing on this printer which is an a2 printer instead of an a3 plus printer and that is the fact that you've got higher volume ink cartridges they're higher capacity the ink cartridges in this hold 80 milliliters each of ink so you get a lot more prints before you have to change ink and generally speaking the economy of printing is usually better okay depending th that will vary depending on what you're printing you know different ink cartridges will run out depending on which colors are used more printing your images but generally speaking larger ink cartridges tend to be more efficient um, on both cost and time this is an amazing printer when I'm giving workshops and I travel to clubs or events and if I'm bringing a printer for workshops it's actually this one so even though it looks like a large printer it's definitely uh, movable it's not unmanageably large you do need to factor in quite a bit more desktop real estate for this printer than you would say for, for any of the other desktop printers we looked at today but it's still not unmanageable in any you know office or studio or even in a home office if you're efficient with your space you could easily fit this printer find somewhere to sit it nice and comfortably and convenient for you to run off those amazing prints whenever you need another really really cool feature of this printer is that you know the way it manages the paper path through the printer it uses a vacuum okay to give the absolute best paper path possible when the paper is being loaded and passing through the printer which avoids curling keeps the prints you know nice and flat and avoids the usual issues you can get on edges on printers where you know if the paper is curling or not staying flat it can catch at edges on the way through this printer avoids all those problems with the fantastic vacuum system it uses to pass the paper through the printer so I mentioned in another video if you haven't seen it go check it out it's where we printed one of the Halloween pictures from a, uh, a previous shoot um, a link to that is appearing at the end of this video but as I mentioned in that video this is my absolute favorite printer the reason for that is it's a very flexible very versatile printer it gives amazing quality and I tend to use it quite a lot because I can keep this one at home whereas the large format printer stays in the studio so if I do need to print large obviously it's you know if I need to print bigger than a2 obviously I print on the large format printer but for the vast majority of prints that I would make that are smaller than you know it that are a2 or smaller this is the, a no-brainer it's an amazing printer and the quality of images that come out of it from a4 from you know 8 by 12 up to um, full a2 in size six, 17 inches wide the images just cannot be beat it's like in my opinion it's the best printer in its class by a mile so i love this printer another feature it has is it's got a really cool lcd screen here okay so when you're loading paper or if you're navigating the ink menu or the, the if there are alerts like you run out of ink or anything like this you want to you know you're changing cartridges and as i said loading paper this has a really really clear really easy to follow lcd uh, menu um, with navigation buttons here 
so it makes it so much easier rather than having to do everything from the software on the on the machine on the computer so yeah i can't really think of a single thing that this printer is missing so it's my favorite printer so i hope you found this useful if you did please like and subscribe down below and then i'll know what you like and we'll supply more of this kind of content so if you have any questions or if there's something you know this spurs another question for you or something we didn't answer just leave a comment down below and we'll come back to you as soon as we can okay so thanks a million for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video